This video is going to be short and straight to the point. Have you ever been annoyed that when you use the application.quit in code, it works fine in your build, but when you're playing in the editor, it's next to useless? Well, let's resolve that in this quick tutorial video. So first off, we have our scene from the shift UI asset on the asset store, and we can go through the menus and get to the main menu page. Then on the main menu page, we have our exit button, pops up a dialogue as we expect, making sure, yeah, you want to exit. We press the go ahead and nothing happens. Well, what's actually happening in the code here? If we jump into Visual Studio, well, as we can see, we have our exit function that the game is calling. And here is the debug log, exit function is working on build mode, which is great, I'm glad they added that. But we know this application.quit does nothing. It's not going to exit the game because we're not actually in a build, we're in the editor. So let's add some code here that will enable us to do just that, exit while we're in the editor. So it uses the Unity editor library and there's a class in there called editor application. And this has a flag called is playing. And we'll set that flag to false. And that's basically it. What it does is it tells the Unity editor, we don't want to play anymore. We want to actually turn off and it will stop the playing mode and go back into edit mode, which is great. But if we were to build while we've got this in and try and release our game, the Unity editor is going to complain because we're using Unity editor code in here. So we need to use a preprocessor directive called Unity underscore editor. And what preprocessor directives will actually do is they'll set up code that will only build in certain circumstances. And I have a whole video on preprocessor directives and I'll actually stick a link in the description. So if you're interested in those, go and check them out. But in short, what it'll do is it'll say, I'm about to build. This is only allowed to be used in, in the editor mode. So I'll ignore everything between here and here. So they ignore this in the build and we only get it when we're playing in the editor. But I would suggest that if you're interested in preprocessor directives, you go and check out my other video because it goes into a lot more depth about it. So we'll pop back into Unity, we'll press play, does its little reloading, and then when it comes in, we press space, do our login with no credentials, and then we get to our exit button. Are you sure you want to exit? Now, if we press it, boom, it exited. It stopped playing in the editor. We still get our little debug log telling us exit function is working on build mode. And remember, because we used our define, this won't affect the build of our game. And that's it, a quick tip to help you quit. If you like the asset I'm using here, the link will be in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, Thanks for watching.